Yeah, so people people have been trying for as long as there have been airplanes to make efficient seaplanes, right? Mm -hmm. And the idea here is to try to make an efficient seaplane by utilizing new technology. So because of this lightweight electric engine on the tail, you you can get aerodynamic efficiency and very low weight, so you don't have extra weight in the structure or in the tail in general. And uh, with the float wings that we have here, mm -hmm. you you take away the need for external geometries mm -hmm. that normal seaplanes need, like uh, sponsons and floats and all these kinds of geometries that destroy your aerodynamics. So the idea is that you get an efficient seaplane. Actually, I won't even focus on the seaplane part, but say that we're trying to make a good airplane first. Mm -hmm. And you get a kind of a bonus that you can go in the water, mm -hmm. which is one of the ideas. And the, of course, the idea is also that pilots will choose that option because of safety and because of the utility side. Usually you have to, with seaplanes, you have to choose between utility and performance, but here you try to combine both in one vehicle. Um, that kind of explains a little bit of the outside of the airplane. More of that is that the nose is round and I try to integrate the round nose with the sea hull. So be behind the nose you have the sea hull and then you have the round nose forward. Also more efficient aerodynamics but also very important is the fact that it doesn't look like a seaplane anymore. Mm -hmm. So people don't recognize it as a seaplane and it isn't stigmatized so th people think that it's bad performance, etc., etc. Right? On the inside of the airplane, it's much bigger than your normal airplane. I modeled the airplane around the ergonomics of, let's say, from car manufacturers. Very relevant to use, use that kind of uh, research because I think most airplanes are too small. This is more correct. In the, in the other idea is to simplify the cockpit. So when people look inside the airplane, they are not scared of the impression they get. It's too much happening in most of these small airplanes, and you need to have a compact and simple interface for the pilot so that he can actually, or people can imagine that they can do it, and they can fly. And it's also a fly-by-wire rudder, fly-by-wire nose gear. Take away the pedals, and it's even more like a boat. And the idea is that people will learn to fly easier because you have fine motoric in the hand and therefore you can use it uh, or learn to fly in a different way. Uh, for existing pilots it's probably going to be difficult but for a new pilot it might be easier to learn it. Um, the brakes on the wheels are, is in the throttle handle. So once you go back and the propeller actually stops, you go on the brakes. The cool thing with the electric engine is you can reverse the propeller in the opposite direction and you get a break in water and you can also back up in water. It's a dream for seaplane pilots. Usually you have to plan your docking and everything really accurately, but here you can actually stop and you can reverse and undo your mistakes, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, the space that we have for the pilots and passengers also gives a huge space behind them so they can bring bicycles, skis, lots of equipment. So it's a pure sport utility type vehicle. And that's the type of aircraft we're trying to create. So we are hoping for, or we've analyzed the airplane to cruise uh, maximum at 130 knots and uh, efficiently at 115 is our assumption. If we get above 100 knots efficient with a low fuel consumption of 20 to 22 liters an hour, that is way better than any seaplane that I've seen for a long time. So I think that would be really successful. If we go far below that, we have to do something because we, we don't want to go too far behind the land-based, the best LSAs in the land-based market. Mm -hmm. Then it won't be possible to market it as a land-based airplane. Mm -hmm. um, stall speed should be around 48 knots with flaps and 52 knots mm -hmm. without them. We might be able to optimize the wing more in the future to give a little bit lower stall speed. Mm -hmm. But in the water with the low wings, you can't land with the flaps, so you have to use mm -hmm. Um, have the flaps in inside when you land on the water. Um, other parameters, the weight, the max takeoff weight is 750 kilos. Uh, this prototype is about 50 kilos heavier than we hoped, so you have an empty weight with the batteries, so with fuel, so to speak, mm -hmm. about 660 kilos. Mm -hmm. That means in this prototype you can't carry that much, but it's enough to test it mm -hmm. and to get verification. Mm -hmm. In an optimized version, we think we can shave off about 80, 90 kilos of the structure mm -hmm. because of the way this was built in a small garage, mm -hmm. simple tools, no vacuum molding, no optimization. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of surplus material in the mm -hmm. airplane that we can take away in an optimized version. Mm -hmm. um, 
we also hope that the uh, microlite regime or weight will be increased mm -hmm. to 650 for an amphib. If that mm -hmm. happens, we might be able to put this in the uh, in the microlite category mm -hmm. in the future, which mm -hmm. would be a dream because mm -hmm. that's this huge huge market. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it ha it will probably start as an experimental, but then we will move towards uh, VLA, LSA in the US probably. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it's still to be seen. We have to mm -hmm. make a second prototype as well for production. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, it will be a while until we do any mm -hmm. sort of certification on this, this airplane. Mm -hmm. It's really, really hard to say, and I'm always really careful with that. But, uh, but I would imagine it would be in the upper end of the LSA, uh, uh, LSA area. Mm -hmm. So we're probably talking about 230,000 mm -hmm. euros mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. range. Uh, specifically, the hybrid system is more expensive mm -hmm. than a typical Rotax, maybe twice the price of the Rotax, mm -hmm. so it adds to the cost. But mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it has to start there, but we want to make an aeroplane for more people, so mm -hmm. we need to get the cost down mm -hmm. um, with volume, so we're hoping we can mm -hmm. achieve that. Mm -hmm.